fire signs aries leo and sagittarius my sagittarius welcome in you guys welcome to the channel if you are new hi my name is eric welcome to divine conversations and if you are returning welcome back guys so i am feeling called to do uh some specific sign readings in this for this series hi lyle um i have a kitten just so you know he's gonna be running around running around because he's kind of wild anyway i'm gonna be doing some readings for the individual signs i am gonna be splitting it up into the four categories fire earth wind and water uh, or air and water excuse me <laughs> um but yeah so look out for those videos they will be released at the same time um, but we're going to be looking into getting some messages. I was just called to do some readings for the greater collective here on YouTube and specifically spirit wanted me to break it up into all 12 of the signs, but I am breaking that up into four different videos. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing <clears throat> for this session here is I'm going to be pulling an Oracle card from our, one of my Oracle decks here, one card for each sign, and then we're going to break it down and we're going to go into the individual signs and get some more tarot and some more messages, some more deeper messages for you. Um, so look out for timestamps in the description box and the pinned comment below for your specific sign. You could watch this for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and or North Node or any other placement that you may have within the signs. OK. Um, and also this message is being recorded and channeled and released in the month of June of 2024. Um, this does not have to be a specific message for the month of June. This does not have to be a specific message for any specific time period. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, whenever this reading finds you, whenever you find this reading um, and you feel called to listen to the messages that come through here, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless as to whenever it happens for you. OK, but just know this is coming through in the month of June. So you could take this as a message for the month of June or just a like a six month check in for your year 2024, however you want to take it. OK, um, so let's get started. Yeah, we're going to look at the fire signs in this video in this uh reading here so aries leo and sag i'm going to give this a few shuffles and then i'm going to pull one card for each sign and i'm going to get an overall view of it break it down a little bit well get into it a little bit but then i'm going to break it down further so please make sure to check the timestamps. yes all right one last shuffle here and then we'll see what messages we have for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the month, well, for this time period. Yeah, so for Aries, we've got, we have come together. For Leo, we have be present. And for Sagittarius, we have empathy and compassion. Okay, immediately, Sagittarius. <laughs> for those of you that have been rolling with me on this channel for a few years, immediately, I'm, I'm always taken back to this one reading that I did for you guys back in August of 2019. If y'all have been watching me for a while, you're probably going to think I'm a broken record at this point. But that was immediately the first thing that I thought of with empathy and compassion here for you, Sagittarius. This is the card that came out. Um, I do feel like it's relating to whatever happened back and if you want to if you're new to the channel and you want to go investigate check out it was i believe august of 2019 um and the title is damn it sad you made me cry like i can't even believe that's still coming up it's 2024 y'all but that is just a testament to you know the cyclical nature of healing now we're going to get into this specifically but sag what i'm already picking up for you is there may be some sort of teaching um, uh, that you may be able to do now that you've gone through a big healing process in terms of whatever that e energy was for you at that time or, and all that. Um, it's like you're take it's like you're going to be taking it further now, um, to deepen your healing process and deepening your healing process has something to do with sharing your message, whether it is you write a book or you start a channel or you start a blog or you um, start speaking in conventions or something. I'm, I'm picking up domestic abuse um, in, in terms of something in terms of that. Okay. Now, Aries, you have come together. This inherently from jump Aries, this feels like 
either community, some sort of community situation, or um, maybe a relationship. There may be a relationship that now I, I, I don't, if you know me, then you know I don't focus on love readings specifically. Um, I, honestly, I, I, personally, this is just my personal opinion. I feel that's a waste of time uh, because, you know, when it comes to love and relationships and romance and all that, you know, everybody's got their own free will. So for me to sit here and tell you and speculate on, you know, what your person is going to be doing, what they're thinking of you, this, that, and the third, that's just, I find that to be a waste of my time and your time because it doesn't really facilitate any sort of healing that you could be focusing on within yourself. And that's really all you have control over, your own self and your own healing, right? And my goal here is to help facilitate healing for people. Lyle, he's, hey, excuse me. Sorry, it's my kitten. No bump in the camera, please, cat. Thank you. Anyway, um, but there, there is something to do with some sort of relationship healing. This could be uh, in terms of family, um, maybe in terms of friends. There could be a community that's coming together. But also, this coming together energy may be within yourself, okay? I'm sorry, the, the camera is going to be moving unless I kick him out. Hey! Beat it, kitty cat. Sorry. All right. That's for you, Aries. <laughs> Good Lord, having a kitten is wild. Um, and then we have, and of course, of course, this kitten, like he was the shyest one of all of the, this, this mama cat had, I'm sorry, this is a tangent, but this mama cat had three kittens. One of them was, they were actually, Lyle is one of twins. He's, he's a twin. Um, a friend of mine took his, other, his, his brother. Um, but his brother was the, the open and rambunctious one. Um, and now he's, he was all shy and now he's all crazy and, and going wild. Anyway, um, sorry, tangent. Uh, come together. So this, is, this also could be Aries. This could be you coming together uh, uh, within yourself. Um, I've been seeing a lot of the number synchronicity of six, nine lately. That may be standing out for you. That's coming to mind here. And then Leo, you have be present. Nothing is coming through at first. But you see, that's part of the message, Leo. Be present, okay? And, when, and as a channeler, as, uh, you know, as someone who often channels from spirit, I've found that it is very important to not try and rush any sort of message to come through when it's not ready. And as I'm sitting with this energy here, feeling this through for you, Leo, be present. It's really not even about being present with intentions to receive anything. Obviously, you're going to receive insights. You're going to receive information. You're going to receive downloads. Your guides are going to speak to you. The universe is going to speak to you. God, source, creator, whomever it is you've been praying to is going to speak to you. But they're going to do it in the appropriate time. And right now, Leo, you are just being asked to sit and be present with the energies in order to receive the insights that you need. There we go, okay. Um, yes. Okay, excellent. I'm going to pause here, I'm gonna reset, and then I'm gonna get started, and then please make sure to look out for the timestamps the, in the pinned comment and the um, description box below in order to find the reading for your specific sign, yeah? I'll see you in just a second. Hey there, Aries. All right, Aries, let's get into this. So your card for this message here is come together. There is definitely there is definitely some sort of community feeling here. All right. Um, so Aries, you may have been going through a very deeply spiritual and healing process. OK, something that I'm hearing, something that you may have been working on for your whole lifetime. Even if you may not necessarily been aware of it, um, something is coming together for you at this time, at this moment, or whenever you get this message here. Something is coming together for you. I'm feeling it's a lifelong work, um, lifelong work of art. Um, it could be art. It could very well be art. You could be an artist here. Take it as it resonates. Um, but again, it's something that has been a, a, a lifelong period. 
okay? Or it could have been a period of your life that really has taken over your life. Um, it seems maybe, <laughs> I, just heard, I just heard commandeered, it commandeered your life. Um, it's something that has become your life, um, your life's work, okay? But, uh, it, it, and even if this is something that technically you really have been working on your whole life, but you weren't quite aware of it yet, Circumstances earlier in your life did absolutely lead up to this, even if you maybe have not necessarily put two and two together. My, <laughs> in, in terms of that, my attention keeps getting drawn to the bottom of the deck, and I believe you guys are seeing this too. It is the Queen of Wands. Um, this is definitely something that you've been attracting towards yourself. Again, unbeknownst to yourself, even if you don't weren't ever quite aware of it until maybe right now, now that it's like seems to be kicking off, popping off, or it finally seems to be coming to fruition, okay? There is a level of magnetism here that is involved with this come together energy. All right, now you do have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, for some of you, this absolutely could be uh, some sort of romantic relationship. And if this is a romantic relationship for you, then um, this is definitely something you have been preparing for your whole life. Ooh, 11, 11 on the counter. As I'm saying that, even if Aries, even if you don't quite know it yet, even if you're not consciously aware of it on a soul level, everything that you've been going through on in your life up until this point has been preparing you for this specific thing coming together. Okay. At this time, I feel like this is a big milestone for you this is a big checkpoint aries this is like on a soul level coming from your higher self here this is really something that you have been waiting your whole life for this is something you've really been preparing for what's going on for aries here with this come together energy what's this message for aries please spirit the tower is the first card to show itself disruption all right um now there could have been some sort of disruption aries in the past that was the catalyst that set all of this up whether this happened years and years hello sir <laughs> whether this happened years and years and years ago maybe even when you were a child um or come on lyle don't be like that please goodness gracious um It doesn't matter the time frame doesn't really matter although i do feel like for some of you there has been a recent situation fairly recently i don't know it depends on when you're watching this okay um it could have been a few days ago it could have been a few weeks ago it could have been like i want to say if it's recent upwards like the a maximum of maybe three months ago maybe that's that's kind of a stretch but it's fairly recent something happened to catalyze something to get something off the ground to get something started and specifically without getting too specific because this is still a general reading but specifically it feels like something happened to catalyze some sort of healing to get some sort of healing process underway or maybe to finalize uh, a certain level of healing all right what's going on for aries at this time what message do we have for aries please what message do we have for aries please at this time with this come together energy Ooh wee. oh all right, so um, Aries, you've got the Three of Cups here, which did come out in reverse. And then with that, you also have Death. Very interesting. And then at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. So compassion. And this may relate to... Um, this may relate to the Sagittarian reading. I haven't gotten there yet, but um, if if you might end up wanting to watch that just to see how that resonates for you after you watch this one but with this knight of cups energy at the bottom of the deck aries i did hear compassion 14 14 on the counter take note of that if that resonates for you um what i do know is uh 14 14 is a message of kind of listening to your intuition needing to trust your intuition um Let's go with the cliches first, get those out of the way. Three of Cups in Reverse could represent some sort of communal or hive mind mentality that you are releasing yourself from. Um, I do feel like this is a toxic situation if you are releasing it from. Toxic love, toxic compassion, toxic, toxic positivity. There is such a thing. 
you know, being so positive that you are, oh gosh, um, striving to be high minded or of a high vibrational reality or of a high vibrational mentality without actually doing the work to get there. And part of that work is facing and embracing darkness. Okay. You can't have one without the other 15, 15 on the counter though. I do not mean that to say by embracing darkness, you are going out there and committing crimes and stealing from people, you know, hurting people, intentionally harming people, but acknowledging, acknowledging the dark, acknowledging the shadow, facing the shadow, facing darkness, you know, not dismissing it, not, um, you know what, I, you, you guys get what I'm saying. Toxic positivity, okay? That's what this Three of Cups in reverse can represent here. Um, take it as it, stop it. Take it as it resonates for you. Um, there's also a hive mind mentality that is being released here with this, with this Three of Cups energy. It could very well be like a, a, a misery loves company type of energy. Um, I will have to return that call later. Uh, <laughs> Do you see little ears poking out? That's Lyle. Come on, Lyle. Come on. Let's not. Can we not do this, please? Thank you. Um, um, sorry. All kinds of distractions. See, now also, <laughs> this Three of Cups energy could be a very, could have been a very distracting energy. Um, it, and uh, it may not necessarily be specifically misery loves company but that's the energy that i'm that's the way that it's being described to me um it, so it may be a situation in which you needed to remove yourself or you need to remove yourself from these ties from this social environment from this social understanding from this communal understanding from this hive mind mentality in order for you to go through some sort of transformation here because you do have this with death in order for you to go through some sort of transformation that allows you or different parts of yourself or fragmented parts of yourself to come together could also represent 1717 on the counter could also represent needing to let go of some sort of hive mind mentality communal mentality for you to be able to come together with a certain partner that is i'm hearing divinely orchestrated for you but there were people friends family colleagues just the opinions of others it could just been the opinions of influencers or people online who are just sharing their opinions whatnot whatever that were actively getting in the way of some sort of relationship coming together here now that doesn't necessarily have to just be romantic you know what i mean it could be platonic it could be creative it could be a business venture a business relationship here but there is an energy of coming together here aries and it's really beautiful. And compassion seems to be at the core of this situation because the root of it here, the overall energy is the Knight of Cups. Underneath that Knight of Cups is the Five of Swords. I want you to take that into account because the Five of Swords is a very combative energy. It's a it's always a lose-lose. Nobody wins. Even if somebody comes out on top, someone is technically de declared the victor here. Nobody wins when it comes to the Five of Swords because even if someone, or in the event that someone does win or someone is declared the winner or the victor or whatnot, whatever, it usually is at the detriment to others, maybe even the detriment of the, to the self. You know, what did you or did this person actually have to do in order to be declared the winner, in order to come out on top? right and really the best way the only real way to handle this five of swords energy effectively is to just put your sword down and walk away maybe even back away slowly you know you may not necessarily want to turn your back on someone who is in this type of energy because they will probably try and stab you kittens anyway um so there is a win at all costs energy here and for some of you i'm even picking up on family members who are just trying to preserve their pedigree if you will um who will do anything to sabotage the situation to, in order to come out on top okay now for others of you this is a very much a healing situation an internal healing situation and you are there, there is something either that has happened or is about to happen 
that is going to create a massive disruption that's go and I, the way I, I, I want to say it this way that's finally going to get you to pull away from whatever this three of cups energy is because this three of cups energy is actively keeping something from coming together or you from coming together your healing I so <sighs> your healing process from coming together I'm about to kick you out of here cat Sorry guys. Um, but maybe that was confirmation. <laughs> uh, but something is keeping or has been keeping your healing process from coming together. And for some of you, I'm hearing it's, it's actively these family members, these colleagues. I specifically heard family members, but take it as it resonates. It could be colleagues. It could be advisors, uh, something. But the, the, main, the main thing that I'm getting here from these three cards in terms of coming together, number one, this is a healing situation for you, okay? Regardless as to how it manifests for you. But the main thing that I'm getting here, Aries, is that there, is got, there has got to be some sort of disconnect. There has to be a rejection of maybe even everything that you've always known or everything that you've always been told in order for you to go through some sort of healing or transformative situation for whatever this come together energy is for you to happen. Okay. I, I want to, I just want to get a little bit more clarity here for you, Aries, I, on this three of cups. Can you show me this three of cups in reverse for Aries, please? Oh, yes. Look, it's the eight of swords, Aries. So regardless as to whatever two, two, two on the counter, whatever, regardless as to whatever this three of cups energy is specifically for you, the main theme of it. Okay. I, I just heard the goal of it was to keep you tamped down, was to keep you bound mentally. 22, 22 on the counter to keep you bound mentally. And I mean, if you want to if you want to say that this was a malicious thing, it was done intentionally, that's on you. That's your situation. Take it as it resonates for you. OK, I'm not here to say whether it was or wasn't. I'm just here to give you the information that you need. But ultimately, regardless as to whether it was done intentionally or not, this is very much a misery loves company type of energy or maybe it's not misery. Well, I guess that's just one way of saying it, for lack of a better term. OK, it also is giving energies of you know the crab that's trying to climb out of the bucket but the other crabs that are in the bucket with it are constantly pulling it down with them because if we can't get out of here then you can't either or if we can't get out of here we're not going to allow you to either right so this is uh, aries this is just confirmation this is also confirmation of something you've already known that you've known you needed to get away from for some time anything else for this three of cups in reverse for Aries? Nope, that's it. Yeah, okay, see, and then at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Two of Pentacles. There is a wishy-washy type of energy here. There's an energy of going back and forth, and I understand the apprehension uh, in terms of stepping out into the unknown. You know, you're very much, and Aries, this is you. You're a trailblazer anyway, so you really shouldn't have too much trouble, technically, depending on how Aries is aspected in your chart. Um, you shouldn't have too much trouble stepping out on your own. And the biggest thing that I'm feeling here for this Aries is that these are family members. And if they're not specifically family members, then they're people that you really, whose advice and, and whose knowledge and wisdom you truly respect and you really take into full account. But what you seem to be facing right now, Aries, is going against that completely and going in a complete, not necessarily you're, you're being contrary, a contrarian here but you are you do seem to be going in a direction that is not supported by these energies however you want to describe it it's not supported whether they don't they flat out don't support it or they just don't understand it they have no knowledge of it they can't and and not to say that they're not knowledgeful not to say that they're not intelligent or wise individuals but they just have no knowledge of what you may not even there may not be any sort of knowledge you may be beating a brand new path here 
But in order for this to happen, Aries, in order for something to come together here, you are going to have to leave this Three of Cups energy behind. And it looks like that there is something that's going to happen that's going to facilitate that. Maybe it already has tower the tower here all right but with this two pentacles here at the bottom of the deck there's wishy-washiness going back and forth well i want to go in this direction my gut my intuition is telling me i want to go in this direction but everyone else around me is saying no i should just uh, what do i do what do i do what do i do queen of swords oh my god aries look at this this is confirmation for somebody here right here right now two of pentacles going back and forth on something about whether you should do it or whether you should not do it queen of swords says cut the shit and just take the leap of faith. Move in the direction that you know you are being called to move in on a soul level. The fool to the chariot. This is something that only you can do, Aries. Only you. And like I was saying earlier, this is something that you have been preparing for your entire life. You may not be, you just may not realize it right now, okay? All right, Aries, I am going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you liked this message, if you got something of value out of it, please make sure to tap that like button for me. Please also subscribe, uh, consider subscribing. And I hope you guys have, fam have a fantastic day and a fantastic rest of your month. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yes? Cool. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> well, hello there, Leo. Welcome to your, your message here. Um, and your card is be present so like honestly i just want to chill for a second and be present with you be present and i'm gonna be as authentic i'm hey smoking my cigarette just chilling with you for a second let's just be present for a moment leo what do we need to be present for now, I just did the Aries reading, and so I'm using the same tarot card, the tar same tarot deck. I did shuffle it around, and I did land on the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Okay? I just want to take, I just, I just take a moment to take this in. Leo, you have no trouble being, just being, you know? You are representative of the lion. And the lion just loves to just sit out and bask in the sun and just be. Be, it's his... I'm hearing be their voluptuous self, his or her, be their fabulous self, be their vibrant, exuberant self, just be. So already I'm picking up on the fact that some of you are having trouble being present at this time, or maybe what it is you're working on right now is developing, cultivating the art of just being present. Like, this message is so strong for you right now. I almost don't want to pull tarot cards just for the sake of the message. But at the same time, we're going to pull some cards because I do want to get deeper in this for you. I, I, want to, I want to talk more about this for you. But being present. Now, it is summer here in the Northern Hemisphere, specifically the United States. Um... So this is a great time to just bask in the, the light of the sun. The sun is doing a lot of interesting things right now. We are, if you've been following any of this recently, you may know that we are in uh, what is called solar maximum at this time. And there, are a, there is a lot of activity on the sun, a lot of flares that are popping off, which if Earth direct, it's sending a lot of energy to the Earth. Okay, so some of you may be actually um, very affected by that. Um, the influx of solar energy that is hitting the planet at this time or during this time period. And it, it may, for some of you, it may be leading to levels of, of over stimulation, I want to say. Overactivity or feeling like you need to be extremely active at this time which i want to say under the right circumstances is kind of counterintuitive um because of there's such a frantic amount of energy running through you that anything that you try to do out of that state of franticness really may not be very effective or may not be solid work may not be your best work is what i'm hearing hearing and instead, what would be best for you is just to be present 
just sit and be present with what it is you're feeling, what it is you're experiencing, what it is you are going through in order to find the windows of opportunity for you to then take action and move forward. This is very much a King of Wands type of energy that you're needing to be settling into right now, which makes perfect sense. King of Wands is, does, number one, does, a, would represent Leo specifically, even though it could represent any of the fire signs. Um, but also the King of Wands is a type of energy, hi Lyle, the King of Wands is a type of energy that um, sits on his throne and waits for the appropriate moment to strike. You know, he is full of energy, full of exuberance, full of passion and power and drive and fire, but he uses it, I want to say, in a fairly meticulous way. You know, he doesn't just go out there willy-nilly expending his energy just like that. He, he, he waits for the right time to strike. And in doing so, his strike is that much more effective. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. Now... With this Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom of the deck, I'm also picking up that for some of you, there are a lot of changes happening around you at this time. None of it is your fault. That came through very clearly, so I want to make that clear. None of it is your fault. It's just a matter of the changing times is what I'm hearing. And you need to just sit back and allow the chips to fall wherever they're going to fall. Let the Wheel of Fortune do its thing, okay? You cannot control does the wheel of fortune okay the wheel of fortune i want to say has a mind of its own the only thing you can control when it comes to the energies of the wheel of fortune is your orientation your vibration in relation to that of the wheel of fortune so if the wheel is turning here and you're in like let's say for example a doomsday energy right a chicken little energy the sky is the sky is falling woe is me everything's going to shit blah 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 then unfortunately the wheel of fortune is going wherever it lands it's going to reflect that for you you know what i mean that's not to say that you can you're you're not to be conscious or aware of maybe some things that could potentially go wrong or undesirable you know outcomes or whatnot whatever but it's also giving a very nine of swords type of energy in terms of self-fulfilling prophecies now <sighs> this cat man now, um, again, you can't control where the Wheel of Fortune stops, but you can control how you respond to that, okay? Not all is as bad as it may seem, all right? You got to take the good with the bad. That is 100% known, okay? All right, let's go further for you, Leo. I'm going to give this a few shuffles here. What's going on for Leo in this message, please, Spirit? My Leos... Leo gang gang. What's going on for Leo? And be present. Be present for my Leo. Let me give this two more shuffles for you, Leo. Last shuffle for you, Leo. I'm seeing green now. Heart chakra. Heart chakra healing. Remain connected to your heart. Wheel of Fortune is still at the bottom of the deck, Leo. Ooh. But I don't think this is bad. I think this is actually very good. And you 33, 33 on the counter. And you may be freaking out about it. Oh, God, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Relax. Just be present. Okay? What's going on for Leo? What messages do you have for Leo at this time, please, Spirit? Um, I said this to Aries. You might want to you might want to watch the Sagittarius reading because um, I'm seeing green, and Sagittarius's card was about empathy and compassion, and that card was green too. So you oh there you are, Leo. There you are, Leo. Holy shit. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, some of you, somebody here, if, whomever this series of messages is for you might have placements in aries leo and sagittarius or you may just want to watch all three because you got the tower here first and so did aries now let me just make this very clear leo after i did aries reading i shuffled the deck a bit you know mixed up the cards landed on the wheel of fortune and then i sat here and shuffled this five times for you before pulling your card your cards and here is the tower again 
okay? So you may have an Aries placement as well. You might want to check that one out. But you have the Tower to the Knight of Swords to Strength. Okay. And here, and, and, and Leo, this is officially your card. Okay, so here you are. But this is where the energy of be present is coming from. You see how the, the, the feminine figure here, who technically is the Empress, she is kind of, you could say, taming this lion or consoling this lion or, you know, just... I want to say consoling. There, and, and, and this is why, though. The Knight of Swords. There could be some sort of energies that are coming towards you at this time on some serious bullshit. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you, Leo. On some real serious, like, who do you think you are type energy. But don't give in to that, Aries. Oh, sorry, not Aries. Leo, you might want to watch the Aries reading. Or this person coming at you like this may actually be an Aries. 555 five, five on the counter, which is why you may want to also watch this just to get an insight as to what may be going on in, with this person that may be, or these people that may be coming at you like this. But I'm getting very much a who do you think you are type of energy with this. But it's only because, Leo, it's only because you are involved somehow in some sort of disruption of their lives. The tower. Again, Leo, this is not your fault. Okay? And quite frankly, with, with not only these two major, major arcana of the tower and strength coming out here for you, but also the wheel of fortune having been at the bottom of the deck before I pulled these cards for you, this is divinely orchestrated. And I was saying this to Aries, so maybe you do have this Aries placement as well. But, but, and I kind of feel like I want to say this for you too. I did just hear it. But this may be something that your life has been, that you have been preparing for your whole life. Or maybe this is a major life event for you that is, again, destined to happen, divinely orchestrated. But really, Leo, no matter what is going on here, your message is just to be present. Just observe, okay? Don't go popping off. Don't go trying to prove anything. Don't go try to assert yourself. Don't go, don't, you don't really don't even need to try and prove yourself right. And in, very, in some cases, take this as it resonates, but I really don't even know, I don't even feel like really trying to defend yourself is even all that necessary. Obviously, yes, protect yourself. Don't let someone come at you like this with intentions to harm you don't let them harm you but also don't fire back and retaliate no retaliation zero retaliation okay and, and it's funny leo this is something that i have kind of settled into lately um you know people who get because this knight of swords is a very righteous energy whether they are right or wrong whether they are on the side, uh, on the right or wrong side of history, whether they actually have facts behind them or not, it's still a very righteous energy, okay? And I had a situation where someone decided they were going to read me the riot act and they were going to lecture me up and down like, like it, it. and in the past, I would have not taken that very well. I would have fought i would have i would have argued i would have yelled and screamed i would have tried to defend myself i would have tried to prove i was right blah 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 or my position my 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 point of view was right not this time i just sat there and i listened i did i did i did retaliate every once in a while you know i did because questions were asked so i answered the questions and but but i did not i just i literally just sat there and i listened leo doesn't mean that in the back of my head, I wasn't like, this motherfucker, who, do, who does this person think they are? Right? Okay, that's fine. But when it comes to voicing any of that, wasn't even worth it. Right here. You see, that lion was being tamed, was being consoled. Don't worry about it, babe. Just listen to what they have to say. They may be wrong. They may be right. It doesn't really matter. Just be present. Right? That is a very valuable skill to have. Especially, especially when someone is coming at you with all the bullshit in the world. You know what I mean? Like they are so full of it. 
they can't tell which end is which end is their mouth and which end is their ass. You know what I mean? Overall energy is the three of pentacles. That's interesting. Okay, I'm being called back to coming together, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, come together, which was Aries card here. Again, you might want to watch the Aries reading. You may have an Aries placement. It doesn't have to be one of the majors either, but it could just be something is really in some, one of the, one of your planets is in Aries and it's being heavily aspected at this time. It could very well be, okay? Okay, you have the Three of Pentacles and then underneath the Three of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles to the Page of Wands and then the High Priestess. I'm going to stop there. Oh, shit. No, actually. And then the Hierophant. No, I'm sorry, not the Hierophant, the Hermit. You've been working on something too. Aries, uh, sorry, not Aries, Leo. Leo, you really, 444 four, four on the counter as well. Um, trust your intuition. Trust your higher self. Trust the universe. Don't really, don't pay attention to what the naysayers have to say. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Trust your guides. Trust your higher self, God, source, creator, whomever it is you uh, pray to, whomever it is you acknowledge, whatever. Trust that higher power, that higher wisdom. Because you've been working on something here. Whether you are consciously aware of it or not, you've been working on something. And I said the same thing to Aries. You've been working on something. Three of Pentacles to the, I'm sorry, Three of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles to the Page of Wands. Something is coming to completion. Something is coming to fruition. There is a brand new alignment. There's a brand new you coming out that's about to come out. Some sort of work, self-mastery, some sort of work that you've been doing on yourself. Now this makes sense. Some sort of self-mastery that you've been doing, Leo, is coming to completion. Ten of Pentacles, and you're about to emerge some something, someone brand new, a brand new breed of something. Well, human, obviously. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So don't listen to the naysayers. Follow your gut, follow the light, follow the light you've been following this whole entire time. But your real test right now is to let whomever this is or whomever these people are let them do what they're going to do. Let them say what they're going to say. Let them act how they're going to act. Let them be all righteous and pompous and full of themselves. And let them, let them literally look you in the face and ask and tell you who the fuck do you think you are? Let them. Let them. Because quite honestly, Leo, it doesn't change the truth of who you are and who it is you have been becoming, you've been working on becoming. Doesn't change that. You know what my fa one of my favorite sayings is, Leo? Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. And it's literally just that, an opinion. So you know what, Leo? Just go ahead and just, just be present. Now, <laughs> The petty side of me is coming through here. Be just, just, you know what, Leo? Just be present and let them dig their own graves. Let them say what it is they're going to say. Let them do whatever it is they're going to Let them act however it is they're going to act. You just stand there or sit there even in your glory, in all that you know that you are, and just let them do it. And watch. Observe. Take notes even. <laughs> okay leo i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you i love you guys so very much um if you enjoyed this message if you got something out of it please consider please go ahead and tap that like button but also consider subscribing and yeah i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and the rest of your month and i look forward to connecting with you again 444 on the counter that might be a number that is popping up for you a lot lately um i hope you have a fantastic day a fantastic month and i look forward to connecting with you again very very soon yes excellent Mwah. bye <laughs> hi saggy what's up babes Sag metasicals welcome into your reading your message here so, Saggy, your card, empathy and compassion. Okay, the first thing that came through for you, Sag, was that, um, now again, this could resonate for those of you that have been with me since 2019, 
um, in that August reading. Damn it, Sad, you made me cry. I, I swear, you guys, I cannot believe I'm still referencing this one reading, reading, but at the same time, with an understanding of how, or a better understanding of how healing works, energetic healing works at this time, it, it makes perfect sense. But um, something is coming back, coming around full circle. For those of you that are new to me at this time, it doesn't matter. You can go back and watch that reading. I highly, actually, if this resonates with you, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, it's August of 2019. Uh, but um, there is some sort of healing that you have gone through that has brought great wisdom. And so now here's how it's coming full circle, whether this is something new to you or this is something you've been working on for a while. This is how it's coming full circle. There's something about needing to pay that forward now, or maybe let's say having an opportunity to pay that forward now, okay? There's some sort of teaching opportunity. There's some sort of wisdom that you can share insight, even if you don't want to call it wisdom, insight, understanding, intrinsic understanding, but this is coming from your own sense of self, okay? Your own sense of understanding of how things, this is all crooked, um, of how things have worked for you. But you have this understanding, Sagittarius, because of the process of healing you've undergone. There may be some imposter syndrome coming up here in terms of that. Don't worry about it. Don't listen to it. Okay. Don't let anyone else tell. Now, I, like, obviously, if you're not a doctor, I'm not a doctor. I'm not here trying to prescribe any sort of medications or healing modalities or whatnot, whatever. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is sharing your story. Baseline. However that resonates for you, do what you feel called to do. But this is really about, in essence, paying it forward at this time, helping others who are dealing with the same or similar situations. And really, the most effective way to do that without being a doctor um, is to just share your story. Because uh, there are so many, there are so many people that have just come to me in my years of doing these readings here on YouTube and online. Um, there are so many people that have come to me over the years and said, thank you for sharing your story because by you sharing your story, it not only helped me to want to dive deeper into mine, but it helped me feel comfortable either sharing my story or even getting into the healing process of my situation because I know I'm not alone. Yeah. Yeah, um, I did land, I, I did Aries and Leo. You might want to watch the other two readings if you want to, but Sagittarius, yours is the one that feels the most different. Aries and Leo had a good connection between, they had a similar card. We'll see if you get the same, one of the same cards, but yours, your message, Sagittarius, feels like it's a little different. Great. But after doing the reading for Leo just now, I did shuffle up the cards again and we landed on the Seven of Swords. Now, this actually feels really good for you, but this is where this idea or this energy of, or understanding of paying it forward comes through for you. Because the Seven of Swords is, yes, at its core, it is a de deceptive energy. Even if someone is not trying to deceive in order to harm, because this person could be seen as stealing these swords from this army encampment so that they can't fight, okay? This is, this is effectively taking out your, disarming your enemy, right? Which is sneaky, if you want to call it that. It's deceptive, if you want to call it that. But ultimately, it avoids a fight. It avoids a bloodbath, even, right? So, gosh, do I really need to be saying this right now, Spirit? <laughs> They're like, yes, of course you do. Okay. But by you paying it forward, however that looks for you, you are effectively helping others to disarm their enemies. The ones that seek to try and control them, to keep them under some sort of wraps, to, to keep them in a deceptive situation. I did pick up on uh, some sort of domestic abuse energy. <sighs> We're not gonna get into that, but by you, I, I think you get it by you sharing your story, opening up about your story, what you went through and how you came out of it, how you healed from it, you effectively disarm these people's enemies, these people's abusers. 
by empowering them in sharing your story or paying it forward. Do you get what I'm saying here? Are you picking up what we're putting down here? <laughs> All right, Saj, let's get into some deeper details of this for you. For my Sagittarius. This also could be child abuse. S.A. Whether as a child or as an adult. Get into it, honey. Get into it, honey. This shit ain't gonna heal itself if we don't if we keep refusing to talk about it. Oh my god, would you look at that? As I'm saying this, you have the fool and the eight of wands. The eight of wands is all about free and open communication when applicable, right? The fool is a brand new start, taking a leap of faith. We cannot heal these situations. We cannot begin to heal these situations if we continue to refuse to talk about them, right? Five, five, five on the counter. Okay. Last shuffle here for you, Saj. What do you want, kitty cat? <laughs> we landed at the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Come on, y'all. Can't make this shit up. All right? That's right, Lyle. You see, he agrees. <laughs> okay. What's going on for Sagittarius? Show me, please. What message do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, honey. First card out is the eight of cups. Okay. I keep hearing DA. I'm not going to say the full phrase because algorithm, but DA. That just came right to mind. And you may be the one, you may be a survivor of this, but what I'm getting from this Eight of Cups energy here, Sagittarius, is these are the people that you could be influencing to walk away from certain situations like this. Even if it's not specifically that, it's something abusive. Energetically, emotionally, mentally. Walking... What I really want to say here, Saj, is these people need to be influenced to walk away from their abusers or to walk away from these situations that hurt them or, at the very core, no longer serve them. And I don't, I'm, we're really not trying to put too much pressure on you, even though it feels like it's a lot of pressure. Like, you are not responsible for these people's healing. Ultimately, they are. But you could help. You could definitely help. And this really only applies to individuals who are feeling called to do this. Like if I'm saying this to you right now and it's hitting you somewhere like, oh, damn, yeah, he's talking to me. If you're not ready to do that, honey, please, this is probably not the message for you. OK, we are not trying to get, get somebody to force somebody to talk about something that they are not ready to talk about. But if you know for a fact that this is hitting you some type of way and you're like, damn, you're right, you're talking to me, then baby, let's start talking about it. Right? Show me Sag. What's going on for Sag, please? Okay. So you did get one common card and it was with Aries because Aries got this card too. Death. All right. So this isn't yet this isn't officially tied to the leo reading yet but this is tied to aries now so the aries reading is tied to both leo and sagittarius that's funny death transformation transformative thinking is what i just heard that's pretty specific okay show me sag what's going on what message do we have for sag please Oh, 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 damn. Oh, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> okay, we've got the Ten of Cups to the High Priestess now, and then that Seven of Swords came out, but this time it came out in reverse. That's pretty self-explanatory. Given what I was saying the Seven of Swords was representing before, and now it's in reverse, over. It's done. The enemy has been disarmed. Now, um, this Ten of Cups is giving two energies. One, community. Which also ties us back to the Aries reading because the Aries card was come together and there was a bit of a communal aspect to that. 
Now, this community is twofold. One, in some sort of survivor's group or a collective of people who resonate with some sort of being a, uh, a victim, having been a victim of something or surviving some sort of really terrible mishap or event or circumstance in their lives. But the other side, the darker side of this Ten of Cups energy, especially coupled with the High Priestess, is trust your intuition when it comes to individuals that you consider to be your close friends or family or someone that... Oh, Lord. Oh, wow, this is deep. Empathy and compassion. Now, Sagittarius, this actually could be you or it could be the people that you are meaning you are meant to serve at this time. But someone is having a little too much empathy and compassion for their abusers. And it's time to listen to your intuition or it's time for these people to listen to their intuitions above all else. Ooh, 55, 55 on the counter as I said that. It's time to listen to your intuition above the chatter of these people that are just continuing to abuse you or that are just continuing to abuse them. Confirmation. As Lyle is being a little troublemaker over here. Mm-hmm. He's cute though. <laughs> he's lucky he's cute. Ugh, this is dicey, man, but hey, don't shoot the messenger here, man. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. Okay, well, here's another card that is related to the Aries reading. Going back and forth with wishy-washy. Oh, and Saggy, you can be pretty wishy-washy sometimes. Just don't, hey, I love you, but with all due respect, y'all tend to go back and forth sometimes, right? Okay. I'm hearing be solid in your commitment. And as I'm hearing that, I pull the what's beneath the two of wands, the eight, I'm sorry, the two of pentacles, the ace of wands. Follow this. Follow your inspiration. Don't allow and and look, I I fully understand. And the universe and spirit, your higher self understands this too. By you going down the path that your intuition is guiding you to go, by you speaking up, by you speaking your truth, you're about to expose a hell of a lot of bullshit, narcissistic bullshit that people don't want seen. I understand that. You're about to ruffle some feathers. You may even create a few tower moments. That did come out in the Aries and Leo reading the tower. I'm surprised it hasn't come out for you, but yeah, you've, got, you've had enough shocking energy <laughs> for a while. We can spare you the, the shock of the tower for the moment, but... You very, you very well may disrupt some lives with this. But in the best way possible, right? Because if it facilitates healing, not only for yourself, but for others who need the help and need the guidance, then we best get to be ruffling some feathers, honey. Listen to your intuition above all else. And maybe that's the message. This could very well, this doesn't even have to be a community of people, Sag. This could be one person, okay? And it doesn't even have to be a lifelong friend or someone you're super duper close to. This could be someone that just entered into your life randomly out of nowhere all of a sudden who is dealing with either the same situation you went through or something very, very similar. So similar to the point that, to the fact that you may have some serious insight for them. Don't hold your tongue now. When we really need you to speak, don't hold your tongue now. Let's disarm these individuals, these abusers, these hateful people I'm also hearing. Oh, he finally made his cameos. Everyone say hello to Lyle. Oh, come on now, you're spilling cards everywhere. Kittens. I'm going to leave it there, Saji. I love you so much. It was so good to connect with you guys again. And for those of you who are returning, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. And please also consider checking out that, um, that reading 
from August of 2019 because I remember uh, the part that made me cry the most was the fact that someone was literally being abused and and the abuse was being downplayed. I remember saying something to the effect of like, I gosh, you know, I, I remember the feeling. I just don't remember the words that I used exactly, but it falls right in line with this. It's so crazy. What is that? That was three, it was almost three years ago that I did that reading, right? August of 2019, it's June of 2024, yeah. And we're still referencing, I have been referencing that reading for the last three years. And no, I have not been trying to do it. It just keeps coming back up. So go ahead and watch it if you're new. Because that's really going to give you some much deeper insight as to what is or could potentially be going on here. Yes? I love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this resonated with you, if you got some value out of it, please tap that like button. Also, consider subscribing. And I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>